The diagram legend is in the diagram toolbox in the comment section. Since EA 12.1, the diagram legend provides the ability to automatically apply the configured colors to all elements and connectors in the diagram. For a model element, the fill, frame color or thickness can be changed. To gain a better understanding of the possible applications, let's have a look at the following examples. The first example demonstrates the use of Diagram Legend to graphically differentiate mitigation state of our security threats. As the first thing we need to do is to add a Diagram Legend. Then make sure that you check Apply Auto Color. In our case, since the mitigation state is defined as a tagged value, we have to apply the filter on the tagged values. The best way how to do it is you select the element where the tagged value is applied, like this, and choose the mitigation state as the tagged value. So in the first field, of item details, you select the value which has to match the value what we are looking for. And the display value is the value which will be eventually visible in a diagram legend. Now let's select appropriate color and click save. For the new entry, click new and fill the next value what you need. So in our case, it's, it's a checklist. Okay, so let's move forward a bit. Okay, after confirming the diagram is colored according to the diagram legend. In the second example, I will show you how you can color the elements according to their stereotypes. What you see here is a context diagram using elements stereotype like external system and system under design. So the first thing we need to do is to add a diagram legend. Don't forget to apply auto color. In this case, we select an element as the filter and fill it up according to our stereotypes used in the diagram. Save new element. In this case, it's going to be the external system. Displayed value, the same mechanism applied again. That's the value which will be visible in the diagram legend. Then we select the color, save, and after confirmation, the diagram will be recolored. So far, you've learned how to utilize the diagram legend filter to automatically color the elements. Now I'm about to show you how you can use the pre-built and configured legends that can be applied to any of your created diagrams. This method will give you a quick start to create your own. For that, I'm going to use a model wizard. In a model wizard, I'm going to filter out legend. Okay, select diagram legends and I will create a pattern. After the creation of the pattern, let's open a diagram and see what predefined diagram legends we have. All right, so we have a legend for relationships, all relationships, and we have a legend for relationships describing behavior, which is exactly the one what we are going to apply to this diagram. You can either drag and drop the existing legend from the browser, or you can use Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy the existing legend from a diagram to another diagram. Once the diagram legend is created, in the properties, we can delete the diagram items what we don't need, and we can change the color of control flow. By the way, why are we doing that? Well, we need to differentiate in this particular case, the control flow to the object flow and diagram legend is the best way how to do it. Did you like our tutorial? Please let us know in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video with your colleagues. Click one of these to watch more. Thank you for watching.